how to make Mexican tin art. It's called Ojalata. So what you're gonna need to start this is a magazine, a dull pencil, tape, aluminum foil, Sharpies, and a ruler. And I will also be giving you a template. This one happens to be a frog, but I also have a, um, a lizard and a sun that you could do. And what you're gonna do is take some time and decorate it. This is the one I decorated. It looks like Mexican Talavera. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But that is like the Mexican tiles and they're very decorative and they're also done on like pots, that kind of design. So once you get your design, once I hand you this, you can go ahead and start decorating it. Right now I'm gonna show you how to transfer it onto here and make ourselves our ojalatas. Okay, so first you're gonna have to flatten out your aluminum foil. Careful not to rip it like I just did. <laughs> so flatten it out. You want shiny side facing you. Oh my goodness, I am destroying this thing, but that's okay, I don't need that corner. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna line it up with the tin foil. So make sure nothing is peeking out on the outside where your design is. So take the tape, and you're going to just tape it in place. That way it won't go and move on you. Okay. Now make sure the, sign, the shiny side is taped down onto your paper. Okay. What you're gonna do is put the magazine there and lay this right on top. And you're just gonna go about tracing this. So take your pencil and start tracing. Now it's time to color. So what you're gonna do is you're going to gently peel off your metal. If I can get my fingernail underneath it, if you need help, just ask. We don't want you ripping your metal, your tin foil. And so you can see a light impression of it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and start coloring in your design. I'm gonna make my head orange. Okay guys, now you're gonna flip over your design. I'm just gonna peel that down so I don't need that. Flip it over. See all those bumps you got going on? You're gonna rub those down. Weird enough? Yeah, rub them down. And it'll pop out on the other side. So all the bumps that are sticking up need to be rubbed down. That way, on the other side, they will pop out. If you're unsure of what areas need to be popped out, you can always look at the back of your, look at the other side. So it looks like I did this arm, but I didn't do the other arm. So let me go in and pop out the bubble. There is your artwork. Okay guys, the next step in this process is to get out your glue. Make sure you have a piece of cardboard and a piece of black paper or a black piece of cardboard paper. 
paper or cardboard. That would actually be easiest for you. And you are going to, I always smear it, that way it doesn't bubble up on the other side. And press down and make sure it's secure. Okay, so now while that's drying, what you're gonna do is get yourself some scissors. And you're going to carefully, as carefully as you possibly can, cut out your hola, uh, I forgot how to say it, ojalata. Oh, I think I got it that time. There we go. And you might need to re-squish out some areas that got a little crinkled in our cutting process. Mostly it's the feet, because that's what you have to hold on to to cut it. Okay, now it's time to glue it down. So what you're gonna do, is just put little dots. Let me get my glue to work. Just scatter it throughout. You really don't need to coat this or else it's gonna smear around on the sides of your metal bars. You can put it up on the raised areas. That will stick. Carefully pick it up and lay it onto your black piece of construction paper. Press down in areas you know you kind of put the glue at, so just lightly tap. Don't press too hard, just lightly tap. There you go. 